Before we start this review, Vince, I think Drew's been missing something this whole time. Oh, you think so, huh? Yeah, like a camera. True, oh. very true. And something else. What else, pray tell, could Drew be missing? It's the power of sunglasses! Okay, so Vince has the hat and no sunglasses. Drew has sunglasses and no hat. I got the sunglasses and a hat, and then Max occasionally has both. So everybody needs to get on the right page here. Ma Max is occasionally bald. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what's going on. I said he's a, he, he occasionally has both, I said, not bald. Oh. No, Max has enough hair for everybody. Like Chewbacca with a weave. But actually, there's like tons of gunk on his sunglasses, but I can't tell. So tonight, we are reviewing a movie called Chronicle. Yes. So Chronicle, Vince, Drew, Max isn't here because his computer blew up. Bald and hairy all at the same time. So, Chronicle. Um, now, eventually, this would have had to happen. I mean, okay, first we had, what was the first one? Witches. Just try to put together some, uh, some pieces to this puzzle. Do you believe the occult may be involved in the disappearance of your son? Then there's monsters. Then there's zombies. Two news agencies are reporting accounts of the dead returning to life. Holy and then there was ghosts. Something's here. I feel it breathing on me. There's footsteps in, but there's no footsteps out. Oh God. Oh my God. And then there were aliens. Hey, how do I get in this review? What'd you say? You were there! I can't explain it. Exorcisms. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command me to be gone! And now, eventually, we have to get superheroes. Well, it's a very kind of mindset kind of movie where it's very emotionally draught with these characters and you see how they change throughout from the beginning of how they were just being regular kids and then how during these certain circumstances they through their jealous. like different classes of how uh, you know there's the nerdy kid there's the kind of middle so-so class kind of kid and there's the popular one and they through this circumstances of getting these abilities, they all come together and become very good friends. The end. That's it. The end of the review. Drew did it all right there. Well, actually, if you watch the trailer and then watch the movie, the trailer very much so is a nutshell of the movie right there. I'm really getting tired of these kind of films. It's just like, you know... I don't know. It's, I mean, I'm just getting tired of the handheld films. Yeah, but that being said, they did this very well. And they made it to where the like found footage style is very meaningful to the actual characters, or at least the character that follow the story follows. They make it to where it's important to that person. I don't know. I, I was really disappointed in it. Really disappointed in it, now, more than I thought it would be, because, like you said, Dave, um, for one thing, I I am also getting a little tired of the the uh, found footage kind of 
films. I mean, they can be done and they can be done well, but when they're not done well, like this one, it's it's really hard to watch. Well, you know, I, I ain't going to say that I didn't like the film. I thought it was a good movie. I just didn't... Like I said, I'm tired of the... And I agree up to the point where it is too shaky. I mean, there were some points where I started getting, like, the the, the motion sickness. I was like, you know, because it was just too much shake in the film, I thought. But I didn't think it was a bad film. I loved the movie. And I thought the cinematography was done very well for the fact that you actually get to see the person who's filming a lot of the times because the cool way they do it is since they have these powers he's able to pretty much use his powers to make the camera float as far as the effects go all the effects in the in the movie were really good except for, uh, except for one thing about it was I, I mean how many times do we need to see somebody knocked off their feet I mean, really. I mean, suddenly, just all of a sudden, they go, woof, and they're, you know, flying backwards or something. One other thing that kind of bothered me, but my wife kind of said something that made sense, was if you acquire these powers, Vince or Drew, at least for me, the first thing I would think of is, oh, my God, I'm a superhero. You know, I'm going to go out and do cool superhero things and, and let everybody know that superheroes now exist, and I would have built it up, but these kids never did that. They're like, oh, let's go and throw somebody through the wall. Woo! You know, instead of flying around the city like a freaking superhero. That's what I would have done. Well, they're being quite pretty smart about it for the most part, but really when they first got their powers, one of the first things they show in there is they go around and they mess with people. And you got to remember that they weren't that strong at first. But so they were just like kind of pulling pranks and things an awful lot. Well, what my wife said is they are uh, teenagers, so they're kind of like, um, I'm trying to think of the word for it, uh, um, selfish teenagers, basically. You know, they just want the powers for themselves to do stupid things like a teenager would, like pulling gum out of people's mouths or stuff like that, rather than just going, flying down, you know, the freaking city street and blowing everybody's mind like, holy crap, i just seen Superman! My big thing about this film is that one is it's it takes I don't I don't know for me I found it boring. I found it boring and I found that there is like so many things in the story if there is one that <laughs> they it, it's like they left out. Like it's almost as if somebody knows the big answer but they're not telling anybody what it is. Well, I I think they did that pretty well for the fact that they don't explain too much about it where they just, they find that hole. I don't know. I, I did enjoy the end of the film. I will say the ending, the last 20 minutes of the movie was pretty amazing. And that's, for me, was the best part of the film. A lot like Akira. Exactly, Vince. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Because I'm pretty sure if I got these powers, I'd be going around with... Well, I didn't think it was a bad film. I mean, I was entertained by it for what it was, and I did enjoy the ending of it. And I'm with, with Vince, though. You know, I just didn't think it was a spectacular film. I thought it was an okay movie. But it wasn't horrible, so I'm going to give the film three and a half out of five. Really? Well, like I said, I was really looking forward to this film, and I really wanted to see it, but it ended up being a huge disappointment for me. Um, I, I'm not going to say that it was complete crap or anything, but it just, I, I don't know, I really expected it to be a lot better than what it was, and I don't know, I was really let down by the film, so I would have to give this movie two Normans. See, I love this movie because I think maybe I got more invested in the characters. That's because you guys had the same name. Yes, because there's no one else out there who has the name Andrew. And nobody else who has the superpowers like you have. I know, right? I mean, it's, it's my story. They're telling my story. That's exactly what happened. I know it. They found your footage, Drew. I would give it a four and a half Normans. 
I was thinking Gold Norman there. I was thinking five. Well, if you want my special stamp of approval, I'm going to give it a gold monkey nipples. That's what it's going to get. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm.